Hello and welcome to LearningEngineer.com where we engineer learning for efficiency. My name is Michael Langdon and today I want to teach you how to use JavaScript to make a music player or in this case a piano player. And as you can see here is it here it is at Practice Engineer Music Player and if I click on the keys you can hear that they play and more than one key can play at the same time. Um, so if you and this will also work if you play it on a tablet or a phone. Okay. Now I got the now I got the key sounds from freesound.org and it's at this address right here. And if you just click download, you'll download all of these. It's part of a pack uh, by Joe Bro. So that's what I used. So I just want to give him credit. And then if I come back here, I can right click on here and go view page source. And this is the HTML file, as you can see. Uh, this is my font right here, the special elite, which is the piano player thing is all. The style CSS is again, the piano player in the thing. It's not something that's a very important. But then we have the jQuery JS, that's important. The buzz audio library, that's important. The user interface for jQuery, that's important. And of course, the image sound, JS, JavaScript that I have. Then we have the body, there's a header, there's a container. This could, these containers here are the most important part. So you need to name them container and sent. Um, and if you want to change them, you'll see in the JavaScript where you can do that. And if I would just click on this, then we'll get to the JavaScript file. Oh, there we go. There it is. And as you can see here, here's my JavaScript file. I'm just going to come over to here, which is Noplaid++, which is the JavaScript file. And as you can see, here are my WAV files for my audio. So I have an octave's worth. So the first thing we start with is our buzz audio format defaults. And since I'm using with all weight working with all WAV files, that's what I've defaulted it at. Uh, the buzz defaults preload metadata. Uh, that's always, that's my default. I always have that in there. Then comes our array right here. And as you can see, each array consists of an image and a sound label. And then the C PNG file, the image file, and then the reference to the sound file. So this 036 references this. I don't have to put the wave here because I have it here. And if you put the wave here and you have the wave here, it won't work. So just be sure of that, okay? So here's my array. And then my function, it just wants to know if buzz is supported. Here's my uh, container and my scent. And then my build piano function. Now this here isn't really that important. This just changes the background color every time I reload it. It's just something that I brought in from another program that I wrote. It's not that important. This right here down here is really everything, okay? It starts by getting the length of the array. So it gets the length of the array. Then it attaches each sound to a letter. And then it appends that to this image. So in each of the scent container, gets an image attached to it or the letter and the key, so this is the image file itself. What I'm doing is taking the sound here and just attaching it to the ID and then to the alt text. And there's a reason why I send this to the alt text is because that's what I'm going to use to draw in. That's what I'm going to use to draw in the sound file. So this is very important over here, this alt letter text. So as you can see, the sound goes into the letter variable. The letter variable gets put in here. Now I guess if I wanted to, I could have just put this right into here, but I didn't. Then the most important part. This is where if you click down on the image, so it says if this is an image element and you could put the mouse down, it basically pulls out the alt text attribute and sends it to the ID variable. Then the creates a variable called 
sound play um, so this variable here this s n c k sound play creates the buzz sound and then uses the ID which is this refer references this over here and then it plays it and that's it so that's it for learning engineer have a good night